Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll be taking a look at Biconomy. Before we get this video started, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, Biconomy provides plug-in and play APIs that allows decentralized dApps to become accessible to anyone regardless of their crypto knowledge and experience. Beconomy's multi-chain relayer infrastructure processes almost 50k, 50,000 daily transactions for 70 plus Web 3.0 DeFi and NFT dApps to ensure that all benefits of Web 3.0 comes with the intuitiveness of Web 2.0. The mainstream users don't want to deal with the blockchain headaches. They just want a simple multi-chain experience where they can connect with their wallets, any dApps, where they can connect their wallets with any dApps, instantly access their funds on any chain or L2 slash rollups and ensure a completely gasless experience. They expect the dApps to deal with gas transaction management and bridges under the hood. Beconomy abstracts away these complexities from the end users through powerful features such as gasless transactions, instant cross-chain transactions, flexible options to pay gas, no-fail transactions, and simple onboarding to scale in solutions. So in a quick summary, that is what Beconomy is, making Web 3.0 frictionless and mainstream. Now the exciting news is that there is a token sale on the 14th of October. There are two token sales actually. The first token sale is at 17,000 UTC time and 23,000 UTC time. Two separate token sales and I can guarantee you the tokens will probably be sold at different prices. So let's go through some of the big three top highlights, key features that we can look forward to from Beconomy. Now Beconomy believes in a multi-chain future but one where users don't need to know it's multi-chain, everything is quick and affordable and scalable, but they don't deal with the added frustrations such as painfully slow cross-chain transfers and onboarding. Beconomy handles these under the hood so that the users has a smooth, interoperable experience. And the next key feature is usability. After that, we'll go on to composability. Now in terms of usability, Beconomy envisions a gasless future where users don't need to bother about blockchain nitty gritty such as paying gas, choosing the right network for chain, or performing some sort of archemy to ensure a quick successful transactions. Everything should just work seamlessly. Beconomy makes adding a better and simple user experience to any dApps as simple as adding a Lego piece. The economy APIs and SDK kits can be integrated onto any dApps on all major chains for a huge variety. Now onto the token sales, this is where it gets interesting. So first token sale, this token would be sold at 25 cents per token. That's quite interesting because the second token sale the tokens will be sold at 15 cents per token. So the second token sells, it's a lot cheaper and that's new. We don't usually see that with token sales. It's usually the second and third token sales that are more expensive, not the first one. Now in total, there'll be 50 million tokens up for sale. And this is in both sales. In the first sale, there'll be 4% of all max tokens and there'll be 40 million tokens. And the second sale will be 1% of all max tokens, and that's 10 million tokens that are up for grabs. And obviously by nature, there is the maximum buy limit and there's the minimum buy limits, which comes as standards around minimum starting at $100, $100 maximum starts at, maximum ends at $1,000. And there are lockup periods, three months linear release starting on around November the 23rd, 2021 and a 10% unlock on around November 23rd, 2021, followed by a six months cliff and, and following that six months monthly release. Now there are some excluded participants. These include the US, Canada, China, and some more listed countries. And that's the same for both token sales. Some of the DeFi platforms including Perpetual Protocol, Tidal, Idle, 
NFT and gaming include Zed, Etherman, Decentraland, the list goes on. And of course, it gives you the natural stuff about it being trusted by leaders in Web.3.0, such as Binance, Eden Block, Mechanism Capital, Coinbase Ventures. But honestly, what I'm most but honestly, what I'm most interested in is the token economy. So Bico, that's B-I-C-O, is a native work and governance token of the Biconomy multi-chain relay infrastructure. It plays a key role. It plays a key role in decentralizing the network by acting as a network fees, incentivizing all stakeholders to secure and maintain the network and participating in the network's governance. Now this goes into network fees as well. So Bico is a native token, as we know, of the blockchain for Biconomy. Now the Biconomy blockchain will act as a settlement and verification layer for all activity on the Biconomy network across supported chains. The nodes operators pay a transaction fee in Bico to add any information on the chain and they earn Bico proportionally to work as they perform on the network. Once again, quite exciting. And stakeholders incentives. These include node operators, delegators, and liquidity providers. These are quite standards across many crypto platforms and blockchain platforms. So it goes without saying that node operators, validators, and executives, validators and executors stake Bico to start contributing to the network. They earn Bico proportionally on their contribution and their Bico stake. The network can also slash their stake in the case of bad behavior, listens to relevant transactions on other chains and records them to the Beconomy chain. The executors see the transactions and take actions, be it a hyphen transaction as a gasless one. Now, Beco holders stake their tokens to secure the network. Those are delegates as well. They earn Beco proportionally to their Beco stake. Now, liquidity providers. LPs provide liquidity in a variety of crypto assets to the protocol liquidity pool on different chains, a smart fee. A small fee will be collected when a user uses the liquidity pool, which will be distributed to the liquidity provider. Apart from the fee, they will also earn Bico in proportional to their relative contribution to a given liquidity pool. And governance, ladies and gents, this is where it gets even more exciting. Bico holders can propose and vote upon decision affecting economy proposals, protocol, overall networks such as decisions, can include changes to the network code, adding additional services, decision recording, or decisions regarding the disbursements of their treasury funds. Any Bico holder can submit a proposal a proposal for consideration by the wider economy community. This is a large this is a large part of the economy plan for progressive decentralized as they move forward towards community-led growth and self-sustainability. And here we have a list of the distributed schedule for the Bico token. That is 60 that 6% to early supporters, 22% to team and advisors, 38.6% to community, pre-sellers 5%, private sellers 12%, strategic sellers 6. 38% and treasury once again, 10%. And of course it goes into more details on how the token sales will be released linearly or monthly or yearly. Now there is a milestone because it was actually founded in Q2 of 2019. Q3 of 2019, Polygon grant secured and gasless alpha launch in Q4 2019. That includes ventures, accelerators, public beta launch on ETH, Live on Polygon, XDay, and BSC, 1.5 million strategic support round in Q4 of 2020. And early this year, 30 plus live application, 290K total mainnet transactions, over 7 million MAPI calls, and, 9. Point, and a 9 million private round sale, 3.6 million total mainnet transactions, and 54 million API calls. Now, as of Q3 2021, launch hyphen 8 million total mainnet transactions, 120 million API calls. 
Now this will bring us up to Q4 of 2021, which would include this token sell that we've been talking about today. Quite exciting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. There is a website for the economy and you can obviously check it out for yourself to get more information on this. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. And if I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and of course, I will see you in my next video.